Hello ladies and gentlemen and this is just a basic video just to help you kind of feel your way around the interface and just know how to get started. Okay so here's how you get started in the new explain to your video creator version 2. Go up to the standard button you normally would create project right type your name in there and this needs to be a 2 on the end of there. Okay and click create. <clears throat> now you're here at the main screen. Normally you'd get a choice between uh, animated slides or sketch but right now the interface is allows you to do everything together so just say you want to bring a slide and click down here on the add slide animation button and then you get the option to add a standard explain your slide like you normally would or a flash animation so we said we're gonna make a slide okay so here are the standard slides like we're normally used to seeing right uh, if you notice here you have the ability to sketch this slide onto the screen so if you click this button it says don't sketch so we're going to just open this up and see if it will actually sketch and look at that she sketches out and then this standard animation operates so you do have the option to sketch the beginning at least of an animated slide um, over here you might be off the screen a little bit it says scale full screen scale full screen proportional now one of the tricks that you can do when you have these animated slides now is you can let it play and then move it across the screen if you like and that's what we're going to do because we're going to let this play we're going to move it across the screen so you only see her and then we're going to sketch on this side of the screen so in order to accomplish that that's why I pointed to the scale full screen button to make sure it is and I add animation and what I want to do is I want to put that right back okay so here's my second frame I want this to sit here for 24 frames a second times 9 so that's gonna be 24 times 9 equals 216 so I put 216 up here and then I want to add another point which is going to be the one that's going to keep her halfway on the screen. So let's see if this works. Okay, she's doing the natural way. She, there she is. She's up. I could have changed the text. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to prevent her from going away before it moves over. Now, one of the other beautiful things about this is animated slides are actually SWFs so <clears throat> I know this is 120 and then it stops her so if I got that timing correct see she's still out there I need to pull her back just a little bit but now as you can see at 122 frames that prevents her from leaving the screen and then I was able to slide the whole slide over. Now I need to bring it back just a little bit because some of her elbow was cut off. So I can go back down here and close the canvas. I'm still in the SWF area here because I have a animated slide on the screen. And I can still go in there and change this text and everything else now see it stops right there now from here what I can do is I can add a sketch so I can bring this guy in it'll move over there and then this guy will pop in as a sketched item so this is just some of the versatility you get now in explaining your AVC 2.0 where you can actually manipulate the animated slides and for those of you that wanted to uh, be able to delay slides you have five points right now that you can use to delay the slides so if you look over here so we click back on the slide the, the frame that has the actual animated slide in it which which in and of itself a VFS is actually an SWF just renamed so now you can see that we do have you know the timing set so at 122 it'll stop 
and then we start our sketching. Um, you can click up here, go to slide, click on customize, and then you can change the text. Now what I need to do is close, come back out. And my registration is off a little bit because if you notice, the slide is wandering. So let me just see if I can get it right on. I notice when you use the arrow keys, it only moves the original, not any of the other frames, even though I have it selected. Because see, I'm out here with this one. Yeah, but see, still I'm moving the main one. So, so I need to report anyway. Here is the animation again. <clears throat> I change her name to Barbara. Then she's going to slide on over. And my then my SVG will be drawn. And see, so you can combine the both. You didn't have to move this. It could have stayed in the same place. You could have drawn this guy right on top of it. Uh, you could have let her and the uh, text bubble leave the screen and then draw him on top of that using this as a new background. Multiple things could have been done here. Just wanted to show you just how things are working. Now let me create a new scene. New scene. You have the ability now actually to create uh, displays and presentations uh, just from scratch. So, I mean, if I went out here and just got a picture, this one of the monthly images, and I don't want to sketch it. Okay, so the image is in. I have don't sketch on there because I don't want to sketch it. I just want the image to pop in for now so we can complete our experiment and you, as you see the image comes in as not full screen so you can click over here where it says scale full screen and there it is now we have a full screen image <clears throat> a lot of people like the characters that we have so you can click on add slide animation go to add flash animation and inside the explain to folder inside the images folder Here's where you have all the characters that you uh, normally use. So I'm going to click on the one that says hi. And you know her. You're not going to sketch her. So there she is right there. Now what I like to do is just have her come in where we're showing just a, her head and up to her waistline with a lower third over her. You know, so, but let's just bring her in full size to see what she can do normally. So, right there is where you'd normally have the person, right? So then you have another bubble over here. You could do some sprite animation and put her out here. Click on add animation and then here's the new one. Bring it right on in. I'd make this 12 seconds, so it's, I mean 12 frames, so it's a half a second. And now, boom, just like a regular slide, you have her come in there. There she is. But like I said, I would like to just show this portion of her with a lower third under her. So let's go back here and blow her up some. I don't want to make her fat. Let's blow her up some. Bring this down. And you can use the wheel on your mouse to shrink the screen so you can get some more size okay so now I got it right there okay so now I want to put a lower third so she comes there and then have a lower third appear right here so I need to go get a lower third and I have a lower third explain to you template so let's see, pull up one of these lower thirds. That was a 3D looking one. 
And let's see if I can find it. There we go. Mission control. So let's bring this one in. <clears throat> All right. So that's the lower third. Okay, it is scale full screen, but I'm so I'm zoomed out. So let me zoom back in. All right. Now, if you notice, this is white because this is an actual slide that is the lower third and so what I'm gonna have to do is go in there to outlines and turn the back off so I can see the lower third come on top of her but it doesn't black out all the screen so right now we're gonna back out and see now all we see is the lower third because it's covering the whole screen so let's customize the animation and um, And let's see this let's say that she's Barbara Wright, but I could be wrong. <laughs> and let's see if make this yellow. All right, and then um I think it's in this slot where I can put an image so I'm just gonna pick something okay that, that wasn't it so number two pick an image there we go so now I got that in there and then we go to outlines turn that off and look at there we have a lower third on top so let's see what we got here if we run this scene now to me it took too long for the lower third to come out so what i'm going to do is this is the graphic with my barber in it <clears throat> so when you're selected on top of the scene and you have an swf in there it allows you to control it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say well you know just play for 95. you you waved everything else see thank you for the blinking of the eye but you know so let's get it to the point where it just waves reduce that down some more okay right there now let's play the whole scene and see if I can get the lower third to pop in a little bit faster yes so that looks pretty good doesn't it and that's just me creating a display without uh, without a slide you know I just put this together and just made it you know so it's it's really that easy so let's go back and look at this scene one more time she comes in she waves who is she oh Barbara Wright director of marketing really nice now if I render this out as a video then I can come back in and put some more stuff up here to, to talk about whatever she's doing or or whatever the case may be Well, that was just one way to just assemble an asset. Now, let's see if I just come up here and put, um, change this to white. And we want you to, we want to encourage you to go out and get your 2.0 upgrade. So, Gonna say upgrade today pull that up here and something behind it so we can see it and increase the size then we can use this I like to blow the font up size first and then use the handles to change the size of the letters seems to be a fuller and crisper way of doing it but you know everything's everybody has their own way so now let's look and see okay and then action before what I want to do I want to fade that in <clears throat> really quick and I think I'm gonna make a change here I'm gonna 
fade this in let's start it right there and then make it move up the screen it's gonna fade in then it's gonna move up all right so let's see what the scene looks like now okay hi Barbara how you doing oh Barbara Wright director of marketing and let's see if she's gonna give us a message that says upgrade now now what's taking up the time is the lower third so I could uh, cut some of the time of that off too but I think I'm gonna leave it there because I can always come back in and render this as a video and then come back and put some more stuff in here to kind of add to the scene okay so this wasn't too bad but this was all built with individual pieces there wasn't a slide uh, to start this off with now this lower third is a slide in and of itself and I just used the graphic part of it, knocked the background out, put it on top of a picture and an SWF, and then added text to the end of that. So right now the sky is the limit and you can do all kinds of stuff just by uh, on the fly, just creating whatever you look you want, using elements of different slides or SVGs, uh, other text elements move those elements across the screen uh, that and more is available so make sure you get your copy of explain the old 2.0 today now let me get out of here and move on to the next demo hopefully this helped you